I'm here with Mike Dunn, Peace Nick, and we're playing we're playing another game of War Machine. My Retribution of Skyra, 40 points, versus whatever these guys are. Cotor. Yeah, that's right. Got a little advanced deployment on his sniper type gals there. I don't like that. And so I think that's about it. We'll let you know how it goes. Okay, Retribution went first, and it was pretty simple. It was all runs and moves and whatnot. Adeptus Ron has a spell uh, called Telekinesis, which moves a model within 8 inches, 2 inches. So the range on these guys is incredible. The, the Chimera can shift 2 inches from one of its powers at the beginning of the turn. Then it can run 12. And then if he's in range, it can tele uh, be pushed, basically, with Telekinesis uh, another 2 inches. So really, really, I made a lot of ground here. So hope, I'm hoping to take the trench here and then uh, see what Mike does about it. Am worried about those girls though, because they're gonna pop out and start nailing the Phoenix. You know what? Just right. kidding. So Mike's doing his movement in okay, reverse these guys, evidently. These guys are shield wall. They're getting their shield <coughs> wall order. And they are moving forward. So that gives them armor plus four, right? Yep, so they have armor eighteen. That's that's pretty high. Okay, so, yeah, you're not seeing much of the action here, but uh, top of the second sees basically a surge forward uh, by the retribution. But I did move these House Shail mages over here because they would just get blown up by all the ranged attacks there. Um, I did do, I did uh, channel a force hammer through this retribution jack and killed a couple guys here. And... Uh, killed the snipers. That was a nice touch. And that's about it. Now it's time for the hideous uh, backlash. We'll see what Mike does. Oh yeah, there's the stuff that I killed this turn. Yay. So yeah, ranged attacks. Wow, they can be really not so good or they can be awesome. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm out of charge range of any of those giant war jacks. And quite frankly, I'm afraid of them. I don't think my guys will stand up. Alright, so the Winter Guard moved forward, blew up three Dawn Guard down here in the trenches. Now that's trench warfare. This unit got the Shield Wall order, so they're moving up. They get plus four to their armor, which is a lot, by the way, if they're in base to base. Oh, just put them wherever they fit and I'll that's fine. remember that they're there. So yeah, 18 armor, that is pretty tough to get past that. Uh, fortunately for me, Kador, uh, by the way, and that's how I was saying it, and that's how you say it in the book. But I was wrong on the other ones. It's Cricks, not Crikes, but I'm going to keep saying Crikes. Crikes sounds better. Cricks? I got a Cricks in my neck. That doesn't make a lick of sense. Okay, and then Signar is Signar. I'm going to go with the long vowels, thank you very much. So, Signar and Minoth is supposed to be Menoth. Doesn't make any sense. By Menoth, what? Signar is the incorrect. But it's also the good Gately pronunciation. So, I'm sticking with it. Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> These guys are shooting So, Josh the is getting caster. sucked in. He likes the color blue. He thinks it goes well with his pinkness. The color of evil. Okay, what's going on? Okay, these guys are shooting. They're all in range of the Warcaster. Okay. All right. And is that cover? Or oh, that's cover, baby. I'm going to just say concealment. Okay. The rat is a 5. He's a 16. 16 versus range. Oh, man. Yeah, you need an 11. No, it's it's 18 now. With concealment. Yeah, then I... Yeah, you can't do it. I can't it. do it. Well, they're not... This is actually bad for me because... Now he's going to shoot at the Dawn Guard. <laughs> he's going to hose the Dawn Guard. Okay. All um, right, they've got 12. First one is shooting a strangle gas bomb. Okay, I don't like how that sounds. 
Um, you know, none of those three words are good. <laughs> I don't want to get strangled, gassed, or bombed. <laughs> He's shooting it at the first one. Okay, well, go ahead. What's your... It's five? Yeah, five. So you need sevens. Oh, oh there yeah. it is. Well, looks like I'm going to be 0 and 3. But the game's not over yet. So yeah, Beast 09 got boundless charge from Sorsha, ran down this ramp, hammered one of the phoenixes without mercy. Like, between him and the Manhunter, they just wiped him out all 30 points. It was... It was so brutal. I couldn't even believe it. Uh, now, that said... Um... Yeah, and these, all these ranged guys just came up and just poured fire into the Dawn Guard and just, it was murder alley in here. Terrible. Just absolutely hideous. So now I gotta take the remnants of my once great army and see if I can't do something with them. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Alright, so we're top of uh, Kador turn three. So I just decided to take a leap of faith. I moved Ron down here in the gutter, and he did polarity shield, making him unchargeable. So, and I just advanced the Phoenix up, tried to kill Beast 09, hideously failed, even with like five attacks, six attacks. I rolled, I rolled three out of the six attacks. Three of them were double ones. Oh, no, 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 that was the standard bear. But two of them were double ones. Blah. So, um, yeah, Beast 09, and I happened to not kill any of the systems that would really hurt him. But that's okay, uh, because I don't know why. I'm just choosing to believe that this is good. Um, I did wipe out all of these guys with ranged attacks between Ron and the Shail House Mages. So we'll see what kind of retribution is coming from that. The, the, the Chimera... I had to keep him out of range of Boundless Charge here, which is, I believe, a 12-inch net reach. So we'll see if that actually works. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm really worried about these two heavy warjacks because they can really unleash a hideous pounding. And that's it. Oh, and Iris jumped up and dis did Disruptor Bolt on Beast 09. So that means no focus for him, which will really help me in this combat down here. I think this gas cloud is gone. Alright, folks, we'll be back. Alright, top of Retribution, turn 4, I think it is. So Sorsha did Yil Assassination Run, tried to kill my guy. He only has three damage left. So this is Ron. So, but now Sorsha's going to eat dirt because there's, I have a whole bunch of ranged attacks that can attack her. But if I don't do it this turn, I am probably going to be toast because this guy's going to get pounded by both of these warjacks. And it is just, let me tell you, it's an ugly scene, man. It's a very ugly scene. So we'll see. But something tells me Sorsha's going to bite the dust this turn. That's her right there.